Hello my friends, welcome to the one year anniversary of March to Midnight, uh, the, debut a the debut EP uh, by yours truly, Midnight Notion. Uh, came out a year ago today, October 13th, 2013, on iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, Spotify, RD, all of the internet, uh, all of the places you, th you can find music online, that's where they are, but most importantly, physical copies also came out. I think I got the physical copies a couple of days early, I think maybe the 10th. Uh, but regardless, today is the anniversary of the release of my first uh, most professional CD that I've ever done. Now there are more coming. I have my first uh, full length uh, LP planned, and that's somewhere in Dreamworld, 14 songs. And I have the next one after that, ooh, excuse me, and I have a third one that's already about halfway done, and I have the concept of the fourth one with a couple of songs ready for that one. So uh, I'm planning pretty far in advance. Uh, so a lot of these songs are older for me, but they'll all be new for you. Uh, but this CD is all new for me and for you. And I'm going to just talk about it a little bit here. Uh, March to Midnight was originally called the Band Quest Demo. And the concept was to take four songs from Somewhere in Dreamworld, the full-length album, and to just do demo versions of them and hand out the demos to drummers, bassists, lead guitar players to say, hey look, hey listen, um, these are songs that I have made. Uh, these are what, this is what I'm looking to do. Why don't you come join me? So it was kind of my quest to find a band, the band quest demo. And I had this whole map looking uh, website for it and I had this picture of me standing on a hill with a sword, a lightsaber in the air and a cape and a guitar. I saved that for the artwork for this thing and you'll see it if you have the physical copy. Um, but uh, the idea was the band quest demo and uh, I was gonna use, like I said, the four songs from Somewhere in Dreamworld and then one new instrumental that was just gonna be the start of, of the little demo. Um, and that instrumental was called The Journey Begins. It was just kind of a, uh, a little march to signify the beginning of what would eventually be a quest to find band members. Uh, super deep on that one, right? Uh, so, so I did, uh, I worked on that for about a year and I changed the website around a couple of times and I had the recording, I had my drums set up for recording. I had to borrow microphones and an interface so that I could record at home uh, the drums at home anyway and and I had this job that was really monotonous and boring and slow but it was taxing on my body so I would get home from work it was the middle of the night I worked the night shift and so I'd be just tired and unmotivated and then I'd tell myself well I'll wake up early and I'll work on it before work but then if I did that I'd get too into it and I'd be late for work or I'd wake up late and just be like I didn't want to get out of bed I was just unmotivated I, I put a lot of um, I, I just, I really didn't like that job at all, and, um, and it really helped me back from doing my music, what I really love. So, um, so it took a good year before, before I even got close to finishing the Banquest demo, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I think the first one was It's Over. The song came out of nowhere. All of a sudden I wrote this beautiful song and I loved it so much, but knowing that I have two albums, full-length albums, fully planned out, and a third one almost completely fully planned out. Um, I didn't want to wait for the third album to hear this wonderful song. I wanted it to be out in the public now. And I thought, well, I'll just throw that on the demo. I'll just throw that, and uh, I'll get rid of the idea of doing, doing these four songs that'll be released a second time. Get that out of there. I'll put It's Over on there, and then I'll find, oh, hey, Poisonous Love and Turning Point are songs that I also don't have a spot for on other albums, and I've always loved those songs and didn't know when I was going to be able to release them. So I figured, now I got three songs, put them all on a demo with this fourth, this new instrumental, The Journey Begins, now I've got a brand new EP. And then out of the blue, I Feel Bad For You came, just came to me one day at work. And I'll explain each song in different of it, in different videos, but it just fit. It just it was perfect. So I threw that on there, and and the journey begins became March to Midnight, 
it's a march and so um, and I'm looking to build Midnight Notion so marching to Midnight Notion that was the concept and you look at the artwork there's these box people walking all the way across and they follow they follow on the back side and when you open up that third panel inside they were in there as well the box people signify all of the boxes from that job that was holding me down the, the <laughs> I guess that's all I can say is there's boxes all over in the factory and I would actually build things including people out of these boxes and um, and so that's that's where that came from I figured uh, box people and then the other thing is that in the song I feel bad for you it talks about walking in line and the lemming life uh, just people who just go about you know following in line and not really ever trying anything new um, so I thought that it'd be kind of a cool concept to have these box people just walking in a line just going blindly um, and so that's where the concept for the artwork came from and March to Midnight was born uh, two other things when I was working on the piano for uh, Turning Point Fire in Your Eyes I, I was working on the piano I accidentally wrote a piano instrumental and I didn't have a name for it so there was a voting on the name and that's where A Far Fall Away From All came from uh, track 5 and then My Little Demon uh, came about because I had a six song EP and something for some reason I didn't want to have six songs I like the number seven better my birthday is on the 7th of September so I, I wanted seven songs so I figured a cover by one of my favorite bands uh, Fleetwood Mac I'll throw that on there and and my little demon kind of fit fit in with the the concept of the album the album goes through you know um, branching out trying new things but then uh, there's a lot about fighting demons and, and um, you know poisonous love is internal struggles uh, turning point internal struggles there's a lot of just kind of it's over as a breakup so everything was kinda just the fight from within and trying to branch out and do uh, do you be your own you and so I felt like my little demon was a good song to throw in there as well uh, so it became a seven song EP March to Midnight I want to show you this um, while I was working at this job, uh, product would just come out of a machine, and you just grab a stack of it, and then you just put it in the box, repeat for eight hours. And I would be on this machine that would just sit there, and it would go really, really, really slow, and there was nothing I could do to speed it up. It's just how it ran. And so I'd have to wait, and then grab a pile, and then whatever. So I had some time to draw, and actually I wrote the lyrics to one of the songs from this album while at that machine, but I want to show you some of the stuff that I did. I was trying to come up with artwork. I had the CD, I was recording, and I knew that I wanted to produce physical copies because it's just beautiful. It's wonderful to hold on to. Um, and so I would draw, and so what I did is I took this giant piece of paper, took this giant piece of paper, and I folded it in half, right, and then I folded it into thirds, and then I would draw on it, and I don't know if you can really see this, but here's the Midnight Notion logo, and at the top uh, there's just these little hash marks. Those are supposed to be the box people. I knew they were going to be box people. And uh, they're walking along the bottom as well. And it just says March to Midnight. It's kind of a plain, uh, plain little thing. But then I always liked the concept of them walking all the way across. So in this, in this version we have the front, we have the back, with the track list we see that they walk all the way across and then the picture of me with my lightsaber uh, was in that other panel and in this version I didn't really know if it was gonna be I don't know what I was planning with this if it was gonna be an insert or a CD don't really know I was just kinda doodling I was trying to play with ideas for the artwork um, then I came up with the pretty standard concept you see this is very similar to the way it turned out we have March to Midnight in like a line like that and then the people walking all the way across and uh, this one is pretty uh, this was the idea was to do a full-on uh, lyrical insert you could see there's a slit here and you could take out the lyrics here and that's where they would go and the artwork would match you know they would walk all the way across all the way across all the way across the people marched all the way um, and so that's pretty similar and then I had the CD in the middle in the middle there and me with the lightsaber on the side 
kind of a kind of an interesting thing. Um, but uh, I, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do the plastic case or not um, because you know it's well it's cheaper to go with uh, just a direct insert. This one I was pretty happy with. I folded this down. I actually used glue on this one uh, to put it together. This is just paper again, folded and then cut and drawn on while at work. <laughs> this is pretty pretty epic. We have it's much smaller. March to Midnight, we have the back, and then we have just walking and the name and maybe the band members, which is just me. But then I turn this around, it's very similar to what I just showed you, but I actually cut out a CD, <laughs> and it actually sits in there, right? And I cut out these little slits here, and then it fits just like that. And then I also went all the way to make like a little booklet, <laughs> and so this is where the lyrics would go. And I didn't write the lyrics in there, obviously. But, um, but I had this little booklet, and so that was the concept there, and it would just match up with the artwork all the way across. Kind of a, kind of a cool thing. And then again, the per picture of me with the lightsaber. But uh, you, the concept was pretty much as it is uh, from the beginning. Uh, we have another one here. I printed out the, the template from the website, the Oasis Disc Manufacturing website. That's who I knew I was going to go with because they use all green materials. And, and I really like that. I'm all about uh, recycling and using, uh, using things that are environmentally friendly. So I printed out their template and I was drawing on their template so the measurements would all be right. This one, again, very similar, walking all the way across. Uh, but this time I had the lyrics in here and, and the disc would be inserted. You might see the little thumb hole here. The disc would go in there and it would just be like a, a, a wallet, a sleeve, if you will. Uh, but I found that every time I would show this demo to people, they would fold it the wrong. They would fold it the wrong way. Well, I just fold it the right way. But they would always close it a certain way, and then I would be like, "Well, that's not the back. Didn't you pay attention when you opened it?" And so I thought maybe the wallet wouldn't be a good idea if people were always folding it wrong. Maybe that'd be a problem. Who knows? Where where we go? All right. So then I started designing it on my computer, and printing them out, and then cutting them out. And so this wasn't done at work, this was more at home. Uh, again, we have March to Midnight. Uh, this design barely, barely changed. I have the font that I used all the way, uh, but there's not really any um, shadows or anything behind it. It's just very plain black and then the clock is gray. Uh, really not much to it. I didn't really talk about that clock, but the clock is Midnight Notion's logo. And, and, and the concept is that it's coming over the horizon. We're marching toward Midnight Notion. We're marching to Midnight. Midnight Notion is coming over the horizon. You know, it's, it's all this deep stuff. There's also the box people. There are seven of them because there are seven tracks. And then they just loop over and over. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then copy paste them forever and ever. So just a fun little fact for you. Uh, so March to Midnight, we have again the sleeve design. Uh, this one's pretty similar to the way it ended up. Lyrics on the inside and the sleeve goes in where my thumb is here. Nothing super special there. And then I played with the idea of the uh, negative space for the clock. Instead of it being gray, just being like um, having highlights around it. And this is actually, I think this is pretty close. Yeah? Pretty close to the, to the final version. Again, this was going to be a wallet, and I think the idea was to slide the CD into this side and then fold it so that would be... Well, that doesn't work either. See, I don't even know what I was planning. But I, I always, from the beginning, wanted all of the lyrics to be in there. I think that's really important for everybody to be able to read the lyrics to the songs. Uh, sing along, you know, put the CD in. I remember the days where I would get my favorite band's song, or their, their album, excuse me, and I put in the album, and I pull out the little album uh, sheet, the, the, the insert, and I would read along and I would sing with the album and I would memorize the whole thing. And I would get really uh, bummed out when I, you know, there were some artists who didn't print their lyrics in their albums. And I would try to listen and it's like, oh, now I have to look it up online because uh, I can't tell what you're saying. I don't know, whatever. So I think, is this the final? This is, yes, this is the final version. So I printed it out. And here we go. This is exactly how it turned out. I put some pictures in there rather than just the etching. I put uh, two extra pictures in there and, and then have all the lyrics. 
and then a slot, a tray for the CD at the end there. So, and then I, I think I printed one more, and this one was just a little gray or whatever, but uh, same thing. Kind of cool. Go through the artwork there. What else do I have? Do I have anything else? I don't think I have anything else I want to talk about. This is a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, not, I hope you learned something. Is there any questions you have about Midnight Notion, about what it means? Uh, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all those things. Everybody says that. But, I mean, seriously, like, let's keep in touch. I want to talk to you. Is there something you would want to know about this album that I didn't cover in this video? Tell me. I'll, I'll happily do it in another video. I got a brand new camera, so everything looks all pristine and clear and crisp. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Did I cover everything? I went over how it was made, where it came from. It was a demo, now it's an EP. The artwork, where the artwork came from. The box people are the, the former co-workers and, uh, and boxes in the shop. The clock is the rising of Midnight Notion. Oh, the box people also note that they're walking right. They're going right, because they're moving in the right direction. They're marching toward Midnight Notion. There's all sorts of meta stuff going on here. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you to everyone who has purchased a copy. If you haven't yet purchased a copy, please do. And don't, don't get it on iTunes. I mean, you can if you want, but the physical copy, this is what you want. This is how you support local music, and to be honest with you, it's cheaper, right? This is $5. If you get it on iTunes, it's like 7 I think it's the same for CD Baby. Uh, most of those sites, it's going to be a little bit more because they have all these other things they go through. You buy this physical copy, I will deliver it to you. I will even pay for shipping if I have to mail it, and it'll be only $5. What do you think of that? Awesome. Awesome. And it's all green. It's all environmentally friendly stuff. I'm trying to sell it to you. I really love it. I really love listening to it. I hope you love listening to it too. Um, and, 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 and please just share it. Um, I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. Turn it off. Turn off the camera. Turn it off. Is it off?